This is the sixth video in this educational series, and in this video, we are going to answer another popular question we get, which is what do the telecommunication companies say about the EMF or RF radiation or energy your cell phone emits? Well, really the question is, what does Apple say about this? If you like the content in this video at any time, please hit that like or subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Hello and welcome. My name is Ford Benning, the founder of 3Oxygen, which is a company that makes EMF blocking apparel. Right now, we only offer a men and boys line of underwear. We think this is the most pressing need of the market, given the location of where most men and boys store their phone, which is in their front pocket next to a very sensitive area. We are at the beginning of understanding how non-thermal, non-ionizing RF radiation can affect our bodies. Most of the studies done are pilot studies finding statistical correlation. What happens is these scientists then take that statistical correlation and those findings and go to a big publicly funded health organization and say, look, this could be potentially harmful to the public. Please give us a lot more money to help find why there is a correlation here. As you can imagine, that's a very political process and it takes a lot of time. All the while, cell phones are only getting stronger, but telecommunication companies, like Apple aren't just sitting on the sidelines, they're actually starting to put in warning labels. If you have an iPhone, open it. Please go to Settings, General, Legal and Regulatory, then scroll down and click on RF Exposure. The first two paragraphs cover the specific absorption rate, which has to do with the thermal effects of your cell phone. The FCC makes standards and the telecommunication companies are supposed to design a phone that protects you from these thermal effects. Every effect that we talk about in this video series and on my website are the non-thermal effects. So what your phone is not rated for. So the third paragraph is what we want to focus on and this is where it gets really interesting. And I'm going to read this verbatim. To reduce exposure to RF energy, use a hands-free option such as the built-in speakerphone, headphones, or other similar accessories. Cases with metal parts may change the RF performance of the device, including its compliance with RF exposure guidelines in a manner that has not been tested or certified. When I first show people this legalese section of their iPhone, they're like, WTF. But then they're like, well, this is just Apple CYA. And although it does cover Apple's butts here, this isn't just CYA. Telling someone to not use their product in the way it was designed is unheard of. That's another level of CYA. Now, I know this doesn't need explaining, but I just want to give you a visual of how ridiculous this legalese section is. Here is a phone. The speaker function is here on the top. The microphone function is here at the bottom. It is clearly designed to be held right next to your head. So why? Are they telling you to use a hands-free option? Are they implying that a cell phone could be harmful to your head? If it's not safe for your head, is it safe for you to put it in your front pocket on a call or while it's on standby? Is this legal and regulatory page warrant enough to say that telecommunication companies agree that your cell phone can be harmful in a non-thermal way? At 3Oxygen, we have done our research and we think the answer is yes. And we think the telecommunication companies share our belief. That is why they're starting to put these warning labels in your phone. So buy three oxygen underwear and protect those family jewels from the non-ionizing, non-thermal effects that your cell phone and laptop can create. In closing, as always, we want to be clear that three oxygen is not against technology. We love and support technology in the advancements it has brought us and will bring us in the future. You simply cannot measure the amount of good that the cell phone and the laptop have given us. However, there is a small cost to all of that good and we protect you from that cost. We want you to enjoy all the benefits of these awesome tools without having to worry about any of the side effects. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you like the content in this video, hit that like or subscribe button. Good talk and we'll see you next time.